In tonight's Mino Project, Saturday marks the 72nd anniversary of the attack on Pearl Harbor. John Mino introduces us to a 96 year old Alloway man who was there when the first bombs fell. It's a story you'll see only on NBC 26. Think of the attack and visions of ships being destroyed in the harbor is probably what comes to mind. But before that, Japanese planes attacked a small airfield to the north, which is where a former Okanto lumber mill worker was on his way to breakfast. On Sunday morning, December 7, 1941, Robert Mino was a 24-year-old Army firefighter at Wheeler Air Base on the island of Oahu. Moments after leaving church, he became one of the very first eyewitnesses to the Japanese attack on American forces. They swung around like that, you no know, turn there, and headed down towards Heckham and Pearl Harbor. The one echelon peeled off and came towards us. Wheeler, located approximately 15 miles from Pearl Harbor, was home to a fleet of U.S. fighter planes. They had to knock us out first because we were the biggest deterrent to them, you know. Planes on the ground and aircraft hangars were the primary targets. Robert wasn't far from the very first bombs dropped in the attack. But I didn't see it drop, but I, I heard it. And then, and then, then after I heard that one there. The next one I saw coming down hit hit the hundreds in front of them. Then they bombed, uh, they were bombed there for a couple hours, bombing and strafing like that. But there was some smoke, so much smoke there when they were strafing the guys, they couldn't pick us out, you know. His job, ignore the carnage around him and do his job. You know something, never give it a thought. Just, just did my job. I never gave it a thought. I didn't scare easy. Once the attack was over and fires were out, Robert did a little exploring and picked up a piece of the second bomb dropped on this day of infamy. This one particular one there uh, fell about 100 yards. I kind of got shook up by the concussion there, and they hit these tankers like that and caught them on fire. And then later on, I picked it up. But you know, in those days, all this stuff you were supposed to turn in, you know. And I, I always had that convention, finders keepers. <laughs> What an amazing piece of history. And by the way, Robert, your secret is safe with us. Mino, NBC 26.